Hello everyone, my name is Ken Goldfuss and I work for Campers in RV here in Jacksonville, Florida and I'm what they call an RV matchmaker. And today we're going to discuss one of the newest entries to the RV world and that is the Ember. And this model is what they call the 191 MDB. And I'm going to kind of go over this unique camper. And first of all, you can see it's a really cool camper, uh, but most importantly is how this thing is built. So I'm going to start out, we're going to talk kind of work from the ground up and then I'm going to go on the outside, talk about a few features and then we'll talk about all the neat features on the inside. All right, as I said, you'll notice that this is a really new camper, okay? So the nice thing about this thing is its versatility. Now this camper allows you to take this pretty much anything where your four-wheel drive uh, truck will allow you to take it. And as you can see, this thing has a great ground clearance. It's got this incredible suspension system built by Kurt. It's got the heavy uh, duty springs, with dual shock absorber. It is an independent suspension system. Um, it has uh, 16 inch rims with the uh, Wrangler all-terrain tires. And also what's unique is that this is designed with a high strength uh, tubular uh, steel uh, frame, unlike the I-beam frame, which makes it stronger. And, uh, and actually this thing is probably about three times stronger than what it needs to be for this camper. But that's great when you're gonna be taking this thing to some rugged areas. It also comes equipped with built-in chalks, which is a really cool feature, okay? So you can just pull these in, lock them in place. If you need to, you can even remove the pin here and replace it with a padlock, and I can assure you nobody will try to steal your camper unless they want to drag this thing down the road. Um, you do have uh, some neat features like a place to store your uh, waste to. Uh, it comes with four independent uh, stabilizer jacks. They are manual, which is uh, necessary, especially when you're off-road because you're not gonna have a completely flat surface. It does have a small storage compartment, and it is a pass-through, goes all the way to the other side. You see they designed these doors so they fold down, which gives you a little place to set stuff if you need to. It has a really nice awning, which goes from, from, always from front to rear. You have a spray port here for cold water if you need to hose something down. You also have a 110 volt outlet. Coming to the back here, really cool feature. They have an outdoor kitchen. And as I said, you see that they allow the doors to pull down as it pulls up, which now gives you a nice kind of uh, prep station. Now this one does come with a small refrigerator for additional cold drinks if you need them. And of course, you have a three burner grill top stove which completely pulls out. So you can cook breakfast, lunch, or dinner right on the outside of this if you wanted to. As we come around the back, you'll see it has a rear access door, which is really cool because, listen, you, when you're going, you may want to, if you're an outdoors type person, you probably got bikes, they have kayaks. You can actually slip these all the way through. It does have a bunk, which actually folds up conveniently so you can fit those bikes or other uh, equipment in there if necessary. You can also see here, we also have, uh, this is an option here, we did, does come equipped uh, with a telescoping ladder. And you can see there are a couple of different spots where we can uh, access the roof here. This is a completely walkable roof, which is nice because it does have a solar panel, which I'll talk to you a little bit about, but if you need to get up there and clean the roof off or clean anything off, you can. Uh, another great feature is the spare tire. Okay, the spare tire is not located underneath. Uh, it's a lot easier to access here. Let's face it, you need to get that off. You just lift it off, you can plate replace it. Uh, but these are pretty regular tires. I, I'm almost going to ensure that the possibility of getting a puncture is going to be very little. You can see this is our black and gray, gray water uh, drain here. Now you notice there's no lever levers there. They place the levers in a more convenient spot, and I'll show you that in just a moment. This is a 30 amp hookup. So you have your standard hookup uh, for most of your uh, standard campgrounds. Once again, you have another chalk uh, for the tire. Now, with the slide system here, this is a Schwinn slide system, which is nice. Uh, there's no hydraulics here. It also has the ability to operate manually in the event if it were to, to quit working electronically. So there is a way that you can retract this uh, manually if necessary. So this is actually the exhaust port for the Truma Combi all-in-one hot water heater and furnace which really is a nice convenience uh, when you're trying to save on uh, space and weight. Okay, so 
It basically gives you continuous hot water when needed as well. Now, as I said, when we showed you the uh, the drain for the black and gray water, it wasn't at, near the pipes, but it is conveniently located here with all of the other hookups. You have all your water hookups. You actually actually also have a additional hookup for external solar panel if you want to, and you have a hot and cold water uh, with a quick disconnect, just like the one for the cold water on the other side. Now, when you run your hoses up here, what um, Amber has included is this coupler here. It's a little elbow, so it helps to prevent your hose from being kinked. So you can actually remove this and place it on any one of the connections that you need to. Uh, this is your, for your city water, this is for your sanitizing water, so this you can actually flush your black water tank if necessary. And of course you have where you can put your, fill your tank, your 55 gallon uh, fresh water tank. Now uh, the gray water tank is 35 gallon and the black water tank is 35 gallons as well. Okay, you also have your quick disconnect for your battery. Okay, one other uh, really neat feature is, you'll want to know about this, it is an all season. So it does have a radiant uh, underbelly, enclosed underbelly, so you can take this in any type of weather situation, uh, especially with cold weather. Uh, now, you'll notice too, there's a lot of, a lot of metal on it, most of this is all aluminum. Uh, this, uh, everything here is built pretty much by the frame, and of course it's built by Lippert. And one of the cool features Lippert just came up with is this uh, independent, single, uh, what they call flat jack, and it is electric. So this is flip the switch, you can adjust that up or down. What that does is eliminates that handle up here that would impede your uh, tailgate on your uh, truck coming down, okay? And it also has an adjustable uh, hitch system here as well. Now this is a, this box here is, is all aluminum, high strength aluminum. Uh, this is a storage unit here if you want, or you can also use it to place your, uh, your acid-based batteries. And uh, in the box, front box here, we also have dual uh, 20 uh, tanks, 20 pound tanks. Uh, which is nice, so a lot of campers have 30 pounds, so you have to go get those refilled here. You can just run it up to a local hardware store and have them swap it out. And it's got a little switch here that you can just switch back and forth. So now I want to talk a little bit about the construction of this unit and tell you really where you're getting your money's worth out of this, okay? Because you're going to find that this is probably one of the best built uh, campers on the market. Uh, I would probably put this thing up against anything. This is, to me, it's going to be almost like a generational type camper. It's going to last many, many years. You'll be able to pass this down to your grandkids. Now, you notice it does have a cool design, but more importantly is how is it constructed, okay? There is no wood in this whatsoever other than what you're going to find in the cabinets. It has five-sided, uh, high density, high strength, aircraft aluminum framing. And of course, you also have a uh, high strength aluminum uh, exoskeleton on this. All right, you can see here, we got some diamond plating help. To, so if any, you know, rocks or branches or anything were hit, it's not gonna damage the front here. Uh, now this exoskeleton, as I said, is made of uh, aircraft aluminum, but it is powder coated. And underneath there, they have a thick mylar uh, tape. Uh, which if you're familiar with Mylar, it's got a heavy glue on the inside of it. So when they apply these screws, that draws right into the back into the wall there to help seal this thing. You'll, you'll notice there's no seams on this. There's no need to go take it back and get it recalked or anything. So you're never gonna have to, in my opinion, worry, really worry about this thing ever leaking on you. Now, as far as the construction of the walls, the walls, the floor, and the roof are all pretty much designed the same. Okay, there is no wood subfloor. It's all made of composite material, which is really uh, one of the first, I guess, in, in, in this market. Uh, there are probably a couple campers that are built like that, but I know uh, they're, they're a lot more expensive than the, than, uh, than the Ember are. And it, this is just an example of how the walls and the roof and the floor are constructed. So on the outside, here we have fiberglass, but then just below that is a product called Asdell. Now Asdell is a very hard and very dense composite material that is impenetrable to moisture. I mean, you'd be lucky if you could uh, puncture through this with a, with a knife. And then on the inside, they have a thick, dense uh, material for insulation. It's not like your standard foam that can kind of collapse over time. This is gonna stay pretty solid and can provide great insulation. And then they have another letter curve Asdell on the inside. So this thing has got great insulation and 
Of course, there's different thicknesses depending on whether it's the roof, whether it's the floor, or whether it's the wall. But the most important thing is there is no wood in this, okay? And so this is gonna stand up the time. It's gonna last you very, for quite a while. Now that we discussed some of the uh, unique features of the outside of the uh, Amber, I now wanna go inside and show you some of the neat features on the inside. Now when you open up, first thing you're gonna see is the fully adjustable triple solid step. So these units are easy, these steps are easy to adjust for height. As I said, they are solid. So you can see there is no bounce when you walk up into the camp. Okay, now we're here in the inside of the Ember. And as you can see, it's kind of spacious for, you know, this total length of this camper is about 22 and a half foot. So the living cat, the cabin space is about a little over 19 feet. Well, what's nice is that you actually get a slide uh, where your dinette is. And speaking of the dinette, there is storage available under these. And one of the neat features here is they don't have any latches are locked, everything's magnetized, all right? You can actually also access through the top, uh, just under the, the cushion of the seat as well. Now, as I said, there was no wood in this unit except for on the inside. So they do actually use real wood in all the cabinets. All right, there's plenty of cabinet space for storage in here. If you need to, these go nice and deep. Even underneath the sink, there's plenty of storage. You have multiple drawers as well. Uh, starting with the sink here you do get a large deep uh, garden sink all right it's round of course and of course you have an adjustable uh, uh, faucet as well of course you get the uh, two burner graystone stove with backsplash uh, this is pulls up and then back and slides back giving you that uh, backsplash if necessary as you see there's lights on and in, in here and the refrigerator is actually cold right now but there is no battery hooked up to this. What everything's running off of right now is that 190 watt solar panel that every Ember comes equipped with with a thousand watt inverter. That same solar panel inverter will also help chart, keep your batteries charged during the day as well. Now, one of the unique features about uh, this being uh, the ability to take it off road and keep, get it off grid is the fact that you can actually upgrade that system to the max solar package and that will provide you uh, two additional 190 watt solar panels giving you 570 watts of solar a 3000 watt inverter and anywhere from up to two to possibly six of the battle born lithium ion batteries and if you're not familiar with those batteries they're some of the best batteries in the market very smart batteries uh, they'll produce their own heat under when it gets too cold and they will actually shut off under certain loads okay and then with that type of package or setup you could probably run the ac all the lights everything for probably eight hours or more now, when I was outside of the unit, I did mention that it came equipped with a, a, a Truma Combi uh, all-in-one hot water heater and furnace. And that system is easily controlled from interior. There is a little digital display or pad here, which is simple and easy to use. You can adjust the temperature, the airflow, and everything. And speaking of airflow, you notice there is no floor vents in this camper. Everything is on side vents. So if you've got pets and dirt, you don't have to worry about all that getting down the side of there. Now they also have the control panel uh, conveniently located, located here as well. And then also you look around, there's plenty of plugs, there's USB ports, uh, you have all your switches, and they also come equipped with dimmers. So the camper does have internal lights that you can dim and lighten. You can actually, there's actually uh, lights on the awning as well that can be dimmed and actually uh, lights it up. And then when I pull it on the bed, I'll show you that as well. Uh, another neat feature too, is they have these little ember lights that at night work like night lights so you don't trip and fall if you're trying to walk in and out of the camper. Now, to save on space, uh, Ember decided opted to go with a uh, Murphy bed set up in this one. But this is none like any other normal Murphy bed. This is actually a true queen, a 60 by 80 inch bed. And it's very easy to use, okay? Of course, you have your sofa here which can also be turned into a jackknife sofa so if you just want to lay here during the day you can or if you want to sleep on it you can but to use the murphy it's just one latch here you don't have latches on each side and it comes down nice and smooth very sturdy pull out your bed you have a full mattress here and as i said it is a true queen uh, because of that you just simply pull that back and you can just Tuck it back away. And to put the bed the couch back, pull up, it's 
back in place. Now, if you did go to the Max Solar Package underneath here, there is area for storage right now, but if you opt to go with the Max Solar Package, that's where you would keep your lithium ion batteries and your larger inverter, okay? Uh, and as I said, if I pull that down, there's actually lights here that you can actually control with the dimmer. Now, this dinette set is uh, very simple to use. Uh, it does, as I said, gives you storage underneath, uh, but this can also be turned into a bed. Uh, this table just simply pulls away and it just folds down and it'll rest on each side here. You pull your uh, pads together or your uh, cushions together to form the bed and you want to put it back together, it's that simple. And another, in my opinion, really cool feature is the fact that they don't use any glass. They went to the double pane acrylic windows, these are the European style windows. And uh, one of my favorite features, of course, is this skylight right here, all right? So it's very simple to access. You just pull these latches here, you slide it open, and you lock it in place on either side. And on a nice day like today, you get a little breeze coming through. Now, let's say you're worried a little bit about bugs. Well, they fix that problem too. They conveniently design the system so that you have built-in shades. You have a screen day shade during the, for the daytime, okay? And of course at night or during the days when it's too hot, you can pull down the blackout shade. And there's like a full top material on here to reflect some of the heat to help keep it cool. If you want, you can kind of do half and half. So really cool feature. Uh, the side windows, once again, very simple to use. If we just unlatch these here. Now this one's a little bit more easy. Just adjust accordingly, locks in place. Once again, you have your screens available. And then when you want to put it, push it up, close it back. All right, now this model uh, does come with the, the larger bunks. Uh, these bunks are actually designed to hold quite a bit of weight, which is a nice option, you know, especially if you have kids. Uh, you can probably sleep at least two people up here. But let's say you don't have kids. A lot of people go, well, I don't need bunks. But you know what? This is great storage. You can go ahead and actually put bins up here if you need to, and you can store a lot of stuff inside, okay? Because there's not a lot, I'll be honest, not a lot of storage on the outside, but there is a ton of storage here if you need it. Uh, as I talked about earlier, there is also an access door to the back, so if you want to put kayaks or bikes in here, you can. And uh, this bottom bunk does fold up, and it's very simple. You just pull this up, and you latch it in place. So now you've got basically a walkthrough here, and you can put stuff here, you can store stuff if you need to. If you want to, you can even store stuff on the other side of this and secure uh, with this bunk being up in place like that. Now, the 191 uh, MDB also comes with a really nice size bathroom. You can see there's a lot of room in here. Very spacious, okay? Uh, you're not really too far up against anything. I can actually sit down and be very comfortable while I'm sitting here. Uh, another neat thing is it does have a window in here. All right, so you know, you, you need to air it out or if you just want some fresh air flowing through here, you have that option. It does come with a, a medicine cabinet with a mirror, which gives you a little storage, and you've got a lot of storage underneath the sink here as well. It also has little cubbies here, so if you need stock, stock uh, stuff here, you can. And of course, this is a fairly good sized shower. I'm probably a little about 5'10 or so, but with a skylight, that gives me plenty of room here. And it has a nice accessible door. Now, you know, Ember uh, really, like I said, they, they put a lot of thought into the design of this. Uh, first and foremost, uh, you have a Dometic toilet, but this is all porcelain. It's not plastic. And as we know, you, know, you kind of think of plastic, it's kind of like when you put spaghetti in your Tupperware bowl. It's kind of hard to get the stains out, right? Uh, but here you got porcelain, you don't have to worry about that here. And this is called the Shower Miser, uh, water saving uh, unit. And what this does is, as I said, you've got a 55 gallon fresh water tank. Uh, if you're boondocking, the last thing you want to do is waste about a gallon of that weight for the hot water to warm up. So what the shower miser allow you to do is allow you to recirculate that hot water till it's hot. And once it's hot, it'll change color indicating it's ready to go. You flip the switch here and now you can go ahead and take your shower and you have wasted all that extra water. The last thing I wanted to mention too is it does come equipped with the uh, Dometic low profile uh, AC unit. Uh, which is 13,500 BTUs, which will cool this camper down in no time. And like I said, because of the way this thing is insulated with the, with the uh, Asdale and the thick composite insulation, this unit will stay cold when necessary. And of course, uh, if it's cool outside, once it warms up, this thing will stay warm. It's nice and toasty in here as well.
Okay, once again, we're on the outside of the ember, and I just wanted to show you the, the, the donning that it comes equipped with. This is an electronic awning. You can also see that it has LED lighting. Now, the LEDs are dimmable, so you can adjust the lighting out here as well, uh, which I think is a really cool feature. So, but you got plenty of cover uh, for those sunny days, so when you want to set up, especially when you're using your uh, outdoor uh, grill, uh, you're going to be well covered. I want to thank you guys for your time. I just it was my pleasure to really kind of show you guys the new Ember unit. Uh, it's a very impressive unit. I think you guys are going to be equally impressed. And I, this is just going to be one of those campers that is going to be worth your money. And I know these things aren't going to last very long.